Oh, hi. I almost didn't see you there. Since you're here, we're going to talk a little bit about some solar panels we've been making. Solar power could be the future, but the trick to its success will be cheap, efficient solar cells made out of readily available materials. Well, we've been looking around, and there's one thing that's very readily available in America today. Donuts. Specifically the powdered kinds. Turns out these delicious little things contain everything we need to make a simple solar cell. Don't believe me? Stand back. I'm going to try some science. So, first things first. How are we going to make solar cells out of powdered donuts? Well, turns out that there's this stuff called titanium dioxide in the powder of powdered donuts. This chemical is usually used in paint to make it white, but since it also happens to be a high band gap semiconductor, we can probably make a solar cell out of it. So, the first part is the trickiest part. Getting the TiO2 out of the donuts. Try to include as little cake as possible, it's just going to make purifying it more difficult. Now take your donut powder and put it in some warm water. About one cup per five donuts should do fine. Heat it up a bit and keep it stirring for a few minutes. This will dissolve out all the useless sugar. There is a lot of it. Put your resulting white solution through any kind of fine filter. Coffee filters should do fine for this. Whatever goes through is water soluble and can be thrown away. Let the stuff remaining on the filter paper dry for a while. Now you want to fire your residual solid from the filtration. You want this to be hot enough to burn off everything organic, leaving only crystalline titanium dioxide. Self-cleaning ovens often go as high as 500 degrees Celsius. This will do fine. Now you've got titanium dioxide nanoparticles. Take it out of the oven and add some ethanol to it. High proof, preferably pure, works best. Now shake it up a bit and you're ready to make a nanocrystalline thin film. For this part, you're going to need some conducting glass. Ours is indium doped tin oxide coated. Use a syringe or an eyedropper and add successive layers of your TiO2 solution. Let it dry between layers until you have a uniform white coating. So what you've got now is pretty much a solar cell. But unfortunately, it won't work with regular sunlight. We've got to make it a bit more colorful so it will absorb light that we can see. Pretty much anything colorful would work. We've tried juices like raspberry, pomegranate, and red currant that seem to be okay. Chlorophyll can be purified from leaves with some ethanol, and that works as well. What we've found works best seems to be a certain kind of tea from Starbucks. Passion tea is tasty, purple, made with hibiscus, contains anthrocyanins, and is very tasty. Anthrocyanins are great organic dyes that have been shown to interact well with TiO2. So make a nice strong cup of tea with a couple passion tea bags. Take a little bit out and enjoy the rest. Put your TiO2 film into the tea and leave it there for a few hours. This process is called sensitization and involves the anthrocyanin dyes in the tea binding with your TiO2 particles. If all goes well, after a couple hours, your TiO2 film will have turned from white to purple. Now you need to assemble the solar cell. The electricity is generated in the donut TiO2 electrode, but in order to make a complete circuit, you'll need a counter electrode. For this, take another piece of conducting glass and rub a dark pencil over the surface until you get a uniform gray coloring. You'll also need an electrolyte to make a pathway between your two electrodes. For this, add an iodine tablet, which is used as a water purifier, to a cup of high proof alcohol, such as vodka or Everclear. Cut a hole in a thin piece of plastic or scotch tape to use as a spacer and put this on top of your donut TiO2 electrode. Drop a very small amount of your electrolyte onto your donut electrode and then quickly sandwich the counter electrode on top. Secure it with some clamps and you're done. So now we can test our cells and see if we can make energy on a nice sunny day. Just connect an electrical lead to each piece of conducting glass. We've connected our solar cell to a multimeter that will tell us the electric current that is being generated by our cells. We turned on the lightning setting as well just to illustrate it better for you. As we cover and uncover the solar cell to the open window, we can see a large increase in current generated by the incoming sunlight. This means that our cells are working. And Lord, we're especially thankful for nuclear power, the cleanest, safest energy source there is, except for solar, which is just a pipe dream. Solar isn't a pipe dream anymore. I think Homer would definitely approve of our solar cells. We can make clean, renewable energy so long as we have a supply of donuts and tea. Energy crisis solved. We're still brainstorming about the economic one.